Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Shire and this is the East Carolina University 60 year dynasty on NCAA 2014. As you can see, just going through some stats for the year here, top tacklers in the league. Uh, not too bad stats here. Stanley, six inter or six sacks there, excuse me, interceptions. Stanley has an interception as well too, wow. All right, but anyway, this week we're gonna end up uh, playing at UAB in Alabama here. Great stats there by the East Carolina Pirates. Looked like we were first in passing, so always a good time. Shane Carden, 2,178 yards. No injuries to be had here. Nice little pregame looking at those uniforms. I kind of wish that I had college football revamped so I could get the newer uniforms and everything. That was one of the best uh, things about college football but number one in passing offense and second in rushing touchdowns looking pretty good compared to the blazes but anyway let's get to the booth let's get that introduction started right now teams are set to fight it out. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. All right, so missing those first snaps there, but UAB already has a three-point lead against us here. Justin Hardy, nice drop off there by Carden. Ten yards. These guys, you know, been playing pitch and catch basically the past couple years they're just one and the same right now we got Carden again in the backfield here see if he can break off oh <laughs> look at those moves here get a stiff arm carrying the guy for about another 10 yards there 36 yard run by Mark Ginn sometimes man he doesn't make a lot of those plays but uh you know when he does those are those classic Mark Ginn plays there. All right. Now here, off of the, uh, just past the 30, we're going to pass it. We got we got that momentum going for us. We got it there. Spencer, the fullback, just checking it down to him there. Pirate loves it. <laughs> He's pumping his fist there, punching the air. But, yeah, not too bad. Two for two. 22 yards there. Carden got a little bit of uh, momentum, a little bit of confidence there in his throwing. Uh, didn't have any interceptions. Well, that was <laughs> spoke a little bit too soon. But, um, yeah, didn't have any interceptions. I've been having interception problems with him, consistency problems, you know. Um, maybe it's just the difficulty playing who we are playing. But now we're playing UAB here. We're looking to demolish them like we did the past couple weeks with our past opponents there. Mark Ginn getting taken down really hard. Ended up getting injured, uh, but that's all right. We got JBS as well here. Big time scoring back, but we're not going to use him. We're going to go empty backfield with this shotgun here. L looking to get Hollis in the back of the end zone. Can we get it? Leaning towards it. And interception in the end zone. You hate to see it. Absolutely terrible. Uh, I don't know why Hollis didn't just grab, you know, grab in there, but uh, couldn't do anything, couldn't capitalize from it. JBS, stutter step in there, only three yards. It all adds up here. So uh, with this episode, just trying to show off a little bit more of the stats, show off a little bit more of the game, um, the way that I play, basically. Uh, not going to have any recruiting or anything. Dow Dell. Darren Dowdell, this guy, awesome tight end here, trying to get him in the mix a little bit more. Uh, unsung hero of the offense. Uh, but what are we going to do? We're on the we're on the one. We got JBS. What else are you thinking? We're just going to stuff it right up the middle there 
and it doesn't matter. We got Spencer in there. He gets clocked, but JBS in for the one-yard touchdown there. We're up 20-16 to 16 before halftime here. We get this awesome touchdown by Shane Carden, flipping it to number 80. He makes a nice little move, makes another nice little move, then makes another guy miss. Oh, sticking the hand out, dragging him in for the remaining five yards into the end zone there. And that'll be the game. Not a lot happened again. Uh, 40 for 20 or 40 to 23. Uh, Shane Carden ended up having one touchdown, one interception, 344 yards. We got our backup Keith in there. He ended up getting a touchdown on 51 yards as well, just playing a little bit of mop-up duty at the very end of the game uh, with that. So there's Carden. Five sacks on the day, too. We got to do better than that. JBS over 100 yards, three touchdowns. Again, it ends up getting hurt, but he has those 37 yards. Hardy had an amazing game, over 100. No touchdowns, though. Hollis, one touchdown on 73. Uh, getting JBS in there as well, over 30. Letting all of those sacks go today. Uh, Grove with those tackles once again leading the pack but hey that's gonna do it leave me a comment what you'd like to see what you would like me to do in this series so going along but uh yeah if you think about it just leave a like if you want to subscribe check us out peace